Hello. So today I am frying some oyster mushrooms. I ain't really had a big ones, but I'm frying. So I got my little bit of wet batter and I got my dry mix. And I'm using spelt flour, a little bit of black pepper. And I love this. Love, love, love. It's from Target. I have some Tonys. I just bought it, but I'm going to keep on using the rest of this until it's gone. And I am starting to fry them all up there at the top. So I'll take these out. I wanted to get some bigger ones, but I just got these from the Whole Foods. I was told that different markets have different sizes so that you can use them for whatever you want. Like, Hey y'all, so remember, you're going to fry these just like, uh, it's like you're going to do some chicken or whatever else you want to fry, cauliflower, whatever. But I like to get the big ones. Um, as far as like the oyster mushrooms because they just yeah. so this is my dry mix they just come out a little bit better you know you just gotta play with it get your seasons the way you want it to taste and it comes out good so these are the ones that I have some of them broke off these are the oyster mushrooms they have some bigger ones but you would have to go to your local uh, different markets. And because I'm still on quarantine, quarantining myself in the house, I'm not really down for the cause of going out. So I just got these from Whole Foods. Because um, I ain't going outside, y'all. I love y'all dear, but I ain't going outside. So you just take it. You're going to do it just like you would do your chicken or whatever you decide you like to fry. Same exact way. I didn't have any regular, like non-flavored um, soy or oat milk, so I'm actually just using my, what is this? My creamer. Yeah, don't touch me. Mm -hmm. So I'm just using my creamer because it's um, it doesn't have any sugar in there, and majority of, you know, it's got vanilla, so it's gonna give it that ugh, kind of taste. And remember when you're working with spelt, you want to get off, dust off a little bit, right? Because you don't want it to have that grainy, flowery feel. And y'all can use regular flour too. It's just, I don't have regular flour in my house. So why? I don't know. I don't have butter in my house. It's just a few things that I just don't cook with. Um, sometimes I get the... Uh, What's it called? Earth grown or earth something. My auntie had introduced me to. She been vegan like dang all my life. Okay. Dang on there all my life. She had introduced me to it when she came down here from New York. And she was like, you can use X, Y, and Z. You don't have to worry about this or that. She was like, and honestly, I got I think I got some in here. It tastes like, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my wet mix. You know what I mean? Y'all can do whatever you want. You can do from wet, dry, dry, wet. However you want it to come out, it's gonna come out good regardless. Just guess what? You cooking it, you made it, and you know what you like. Right? Exactly. So, you put, um, how did I make my wet mix? I just use my spelt flour. It doesn't matter the brand or anything. A little bit of this, that's my wet mix, I'm sorry. I have Creoles, I, I mean, uh, Tony's, I just bought some, but this is what I'm gonna use until it's gone. Cause I like a little bit of spice and I don't season the mushrooms necessarily. I put everything in the batter, in the flour. I use a little bit of this, this is from Target. And then just some plain black pepper. It's not black pepper, but you know, we gonna use this stuff first because I'm frying it up. I mean, it's, it's already a greasy dish. You know, it's, it's one of those hearty dishes that you want. So, and then I just sit them on the, um, this little plastic. I don't even know what it is. I don't even know where it came from. 
but it's been working out very well. Let me show y'all in the front. So these are the mushrooms. They at the top. I'm gonna give them a little bit, just a few more seconds. That's it. These are it. Mm. Mm. It's good. Go ahead and make y'all some fried oyster mushrooms. Mm. It's good. Oh, mm -mm. I think I'm going to put it on, um, I got some, some pretzel buns. I got the, some type of cheese I just bought. I wanted to try and see how it melts. Forgot to check and see if it had nuts in it. Oops. I can't use nuts. My uh, daughters are allergic to nuts. So the only time we had almond milk was for my husband. So I have to make sure it doesn't have any nuts. Because I noticed a lot of cheeses, vegan based cheeses, are made from nuts. And we can't have it in my house, you know? So I have to be really mindful of the things that I purchase. But just gonna go ahead and finish popping these mushrooms in. I'm making it a little bit more batter because I didn't realize how many mushrooms I had bought. And I'm making these too because my husband loves, like, loves to eat some fried mushrooms. Though. So he's gonna enjoy this when he comes in. Oh, yeah. Got my t-shirt. I forgot who I... I gotta look at my order, y'all. I forgot where I got it from. But, I do know that I just ordered me some shampoo and some uh, conditioner from Unicurl. So, if you guys haven't grabbed it, they are $10. Um, go ahead and get you some hair products. And I'm gonna show y'all how I'm about to plate this. Give me a minute. So, Mama was talking about the plate up me a nice little sandwich. But this cheese is good, y'all. It's good. Um, also, this is a Hawaiian bowl. It is made by Lewis. I get these from a Walmart. And I think Joel, Joel has them as well. Joel Osco, Alberson. Um, They have these. 